Welcome to our channel Top Tenors, and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe so you'll never miss a video. There will always be controversy in ranking the best of anything in NFL history. Still, let's look at the greatest NFL teams of all time. Number 10, 1998 Denver Broncos. The 1998 Denver Broncos rode what was an absolute workhorse. The Broncos offense had seven players make the Pro Bowl, while Bill Romanowski and Steve Atwater made it on the defense. Nevertheless, the real hero is number 30, Davis. Davis averaged 125.5 yards per game, five yards per carry, and scored 23 touchdowns. Quarterback John Elway was 38 at the time and missed four games throughout the regular season. Backup Bubby Brister actually posted a higher completion percentage, a better touchdown rate, and a lower interception rate in his four starts. In the end, this team was about rushing and rush defense. Number 9, 1992 Dallas Cowboys. The 92 Cowboys aren't unlike that of the 2020 Cowboys. After all, the 92 Cowboys saw six players on offense make the Pro Bowl and none on defense. Actually, that's where the similarities end because the defense in 1992 was stellar. The 92 Cowboys were second in scoring offense and fifth in scoring defense. They're one of the greatest teams in NFL history because they were so consistent on both sides of the ball. The Cowboys were fifth in passing touchdowns, third in net yards per pass attempt, fifth in rushing yards, and second in rushing touchdowns. Number 8, 1999 St. Louis Rams. The 1999 Rams scored 58% more points than the league average. The team produced four first-time All-Pros in 1999. What may be even more impressive is this offense had four future Hall of Fame members. The defense probably doesn't get the love it deserves because it was only fourth in scoring. Still, they rank second in points per drive. Furthermore, the rush Rushing defense allowed a league low four rushing touchdowns all season. Number 7, 1975 Pittsburgh Steelers. In 1975, the Steelers boasted 11 Pro Bowl players and three All Pros. The three All Pro players all made their livings on the defensive side of the ball. The vast amount of individual talent on the roster makes this one of the greatest teams in NFL history. They didn't have the most explosive offense on the list, yet their defensive points allowed below the average was a whopping 43.8%, which tops even the 85 Bears that season. The Steelers' defense was somehow still second in points allowed trailing the Los Angeles Rams. The defense allowed just nine passing touchdowns while intercepting 27 passes. Number 6, 1989 San Francisco 49ers. This 49ers team is one of the greatest NFL teams of all time based solely on star power. Joe Montana, Roger Craig, Steve Young, Jerry Rice, and Ronnie Lott all played on the 1989 team. The Niners were an offensive juggernaut, leading the league in points scored. They also finished third in scoring defense and forced more interceptions defensively than they allowed passing touchdowns. The passing attack also finished first in the net yards gained per pass attempt. In 1989, Rice led the league in receiving yards and touchdowns. Meanwhile, Montana led in in eight passing categories including yards per game, touchdown rate, and yards per attempt. Number 5, 1991 Washington Speaking of absolute reckoning, the 1991 Washington team might deserve a higher ranking. Their offense was similarly impressive to the 2007 Patriots, but also their defensive dominance. Washington's offense scored a staggering 59.6% above the league average. Their defense conversely ranked second in the league. The team allowed 26.3% fewer points than the league average for 1991. The 1991 team had two All-Pros in OT Jim Lackey, and CB Daryl Green. Moreover, Art Monk also registered over a thousand yards receiving, but did not make the Pro Bowl. 
Number 4. 2007 New England Patriots We'd argue this is the greatest team in NFL history. Unfortunately for them, they had performance issues when it mattered most. Losing to a fluky New York Giants in the Super Bowl doesn't help their case either. However, their offensive output alone almost matches the overall dominance of the top three teams relative to the mean. The next highest scoring offense was 134 points behind. Unfortunately, that three-point loss to the Giants ruined the Patriots' chance at immortality. It's a shame, too, the team was the most dominant force ever assembled. It would take a miracle for this to ever happen again. Number 3. 1984 San Francisco 49ers This 49ers team has an interesting lack of personal achievement relative to their team dominance for the year. Offensive tackle Keith Fawnhorst was the only first-team All-Pro on the 1984 roster. Nevertheless, the 49ers offense commanded the rankings. They suffered from the fewest turnovers in the league. The 49ers also came in second in net yards gained per pass attempt. The rushing attack was similarly dominant. The 49ers finished second in average per rush and touchdowns. They were also third in total yards on the ground. Their defensive excellence came by way of not giving up touchdowns. They were first in passing touchdowns allowed and second in rushing touchdowns allowed. Number 2. 1985 Chicago Bears the argument between the 1985 Chicago Bears and 1984 49ers for the second greatest NFL team was the most difficult. After all, they happened in back-to-back -back seasons. Both teams finished second in points scored and first in points allowed. The Bears were a combined 74.9% better than the mean in points scored and points against. The 49ers, meanwhile, were a 73.1% in that category, but skewed a bit more toward offensive dominance rather than defensive dominance. The Bears' defense also forced 54 turnovers and allowed just 12.4 points per Per game. Overall, the team generated five first-team All-Pros and nine Pro Bowlers. Number 1. 1972 Miami Dolphins The undefeated 1972 Dolphins sit on the throne of the greatest NFL team of all time. The 72 Dolphins are the only team on this list to best the league in points for and points against. The amazing thing about the 1972 season is that they did it mostly with backup quarterback Earl Morale at the helm, winning nine games. He was also named as a first-team All-Pro that season. Additionally, both Larry Kasaka and Mercury Morris rushed for over a thousand yards and made the Pro Bowl in 1972. The team offense won the headlines while the defense quietly dominated. The team ended up with four All-Pro selections and nine Pro Bowlers. They tied the Steelers for first in fumbles, recovered, and were second in defensive interceptions. The Dolphins ranked third in both net yards gained and allowed per pass attempt. If that wasn't enough, they ranked first in rushing attempts, yards, and yards per attempt. They also ranked second in yards per carry with 4.8. Hey, don't forget to like the video and let us know what you think of the video in the comment section. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell icon to be notified about our latest videos.